Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So this video you're about to see on YouTube is a free preview of my course on Timeleaf and the Spring Framework, how they work together. If you like what you see in this series, head over to my website at springframework.guru and you can learn more about the full course. Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru. I want to welcome you to my course on Timeleaf. So in this course, we are going to be looking at the Timeleaf templating engine and how it plays with the Spring Framework. Now, Timeleaf is what's known as a natural templating language. Timeleaf was actually built for Java in general, not specifically Frame, but Java in general to be a, a template engine within the Java programming language and to run within a, a Java context. So there are spring extensions for it, which we are definitely going to get into, but I want you to understand that it's specifically for the Java programming language. Now, Timeleaf itself, I mentioned it is a natural templating language, and unlike other Java technologies such as JSP, Timeleaf will render correctly in a browser. The JSP is not going to render in a browser properly. It's going to look pretty ganked up. So you don't want to be doing this and it, it does hinder your development because when you're working with JSP, you need to have a container up and running to see your changes. Whereas in Timeleaf, you can test your changes real time simply by working on the Timeleaf template itself and pointing the browser at the file and refreshing it so you can see accurate changes reflected in your browser. So as a web developer, this is a huge time saver for you. So in this course, we are going to get into, first we'll set up a Spring Boot project that we're going to be utilizing. And then we're going to get into just looking at some HTML code, just a, a quick refresher on that. And then we're going to build out our Timeleaf templates for a little mini website we're going to build. And initially, I'm going to keep it all just HTML. So we will be using just pure HTML. I'm going to use Bootstrap CSS, maybe a little JavaScript for jQuery give yourself some nice look and feel and this web pages are going to be generic html and bootstrap css nothing fancy and then we are going to be viewing these inside the browser so i can show you how that natural templating language works and then after that we're going to jump into converting these over to actual timeleaf template pages and start utilizing some of the base features of timeleaf and as we progress we will also start introducing the spring specific features of Timeleaf. And further down the road, towards the end of the class, we, we're going to look at the Timeleaf Spring Security module, and we will use the Spring Security features to display or not display uh, content on the web page, depending on whether or not the user has been logged in. And these are features that are with the Timeleaf Spring Security module that allow us to do contextual elements on it. So. Like, like at the top of the page, you might say, hello, John, or hello, Susie, or whoever is logged into the website. Or if somebody's not logged in, you're going to display a different message there. And these are stuff that we can use within the Timeleaf Templating Engine. You can expect in this course, first off, we're going to start off, we'll create a Spring Boot project, and then we're going to look at just plain, simple HTML, and we'll create a little bootstrap website for us to, to work with going forward. And then we're going to start converting that over to an actual Timeleaf template that will render through Tomcat for us. And then as we progress, we are going to make that template more and more Timeleaf and Spring specific. And at the end of the course, we're going to bring in Spring Security and start showing you how to do some contextual stuff. I'm excited about this course. I really like Timeleaf. It's a really cool, fresh technology on the marketplace. And I think you're going to get a lot out of this course.